Well, hello, Internet. Uh, welcome to my really rubbishy review of the uh, Wingnut Wings Yonkers D1 kit. I uh, wanted to do a First World War fighter plane for a while, but obviously the rigging's put me off, like I think a lot of people do. This one has little to no rigging. I think the only bit is really on the undercarriage, which wouldn't be missed if I didn't put it on. Um, anyway, um, I sort of was a little bit inspired by Dave's model review, but um, so I thought I'd have a little go. I'm going to be saying I'm a lot, I expect, so hope you'll bear with me. Uh, anyway, let's open the box up. Yes, it is a terrible setup. I'm using a GoPro to uh, record this on a crappy little tripod, which is resting on a old sweet tin to give me a bit of height. So I'm sure at some point I will do something a little bit better. But anyway, let's get the lid off the box after you've had a little look at the artwork. So here we go. Okay, inside. Let's just move the box out of the way for the moment so you can all see the instructions on this one, which Dave has already said are absolutely fantastic. History about the plane. I believe it was the first all-metal uh, monoplane in the world, if not the first metal plane. And with the characteristics of the corrugated skin panels that were part of Yonkers, as seen on the JU-52. Again, you've got your paint callouts down here in Tamiya, Humbro and FS. Um, all the FSs are listed, obviously. Um, layout of the sprues, only four, small photo etch and a good sheet of decals. So running through, what a far cry from Airfix kits that I built when I was a lad. Um, fantastically, in fact, to the point of being so detailed, they're a little bit cluttered in places, I find. I mean, if you look over on here, you've got uh, controls for the throttle, engine rod, uh, trigger cables, and the, uh, what's that, so I've got my glasses on and I really need very focals, uh, rudder and altimeter cables. But what I find is, where you can see where they're going, where do they go at this end? Are the trigger controls attached to the joystick? I'm not quite sure. Engine control rod for the spark advance and retired is quite obvious, as are the rudder cables, but the others, not all that sure. Um, prototype photos of one being built, a bit blurry, but given the age of the pictures, that's not surprising really. Some wonderful pictures of one of the engines, there's two different versions of engines you can build. 180 horsepower one and a 200 horsepower one. Um, this one I believe, looking at it, is prior to restoration, but still some really good pictures for people super detailing things. Um, really good. Then you go over the page and I think you've got some pictures of the 200 horsepower that has been restored. Apparently the red band on the cylinders meant that they were over compressed. But uh, you can see all the um, spark plug uh, cables, HT cables and things like that. More further details, look, different types of bottom skinning, different patterns if you see here and there. Paint, paint was a bit subjective so you've got the choice of two in colours inside. But uh, really is a good kit. Um, you've got the wings, you even have the option to display this um, in an unrigged, is that the word, position, uh, condition with the wings off. I've get shown later in the instructions. Photo etch cooling jackets for the guns. They're going to be fun to roll, but I guess if you anneal them to make them a bit softer, they'll be all right. But I don't know how well it shows up, but I'll try and bring it a bit nearer. They weren't exactly, looking here, the most well-made things. There's gaps in the panels and everything. But uh, it looks like something somebody's knocked up in their back garage. Again, two different styles of propeller. Um, that over here is the only rigging I think, this little bit on the undercarriage and this is how it can be uh, done as a display model. But, uh, fantastic instructions and then I think we just go on to the markings, I believe there's five in this kit and lots more prototype photos. What a shame we didn't have colour photos back then, it's just to help out a little bit. I'll let the pictures do the talking. As a, I believe one of the pictures, it says that, uh, let's see if I can find it, 
looking upside down. One of the pictures, I can't make it out, but it says it looks like the pilot's recovering from a head wound. But I'm blown if I can see it. It's only a small picture. But uh, plenty of information on the plane. Plus you can find even more on the net, I expect. But uh, only entered in the last stages of the First World War. So I believe only about 40 were built. But wonderful instruction booklet, as I say. What a difference from Airfix. Anyway, moving on to the sprues, I'll bring them over one at a time. The wings, I haven't opened the bag yet because I'm not quite ready to build it yet. Full corrugation details on them. These are the ailerons, that's just one sprue. And I believe, as I said, there's only four in the whole kit. But absolutely marvellous. All strengthening bits on the inside ribs, just so it doesn't get crushed. On to the next one. Uh, it's quite hard to see. These are the two underside pieces that I said had different corrugation patterns on them. So, uh, sorry, they're the top sides, I believe, not underneath, because that's the bottom of the plane there, because there's the skid. Uh, the fuselage halves, um, elevator, tailplane, I presume that's the fin engine cowlings, thing like bits like that in there. I hope this is coming out, as I say, rubbish camera at the moment. I've got it on a tiny tripod. On to the next one, which is the cockpit details, wheels, undercarriage struts, wheel covers, um, interior framing, the guns, uh, seat. Uh, this bit here is obviously part of the uh, frame of the plane, and that's one of the fuel tanks in the middle there. I don't know how well this comes out. So that's going to be fun to mask up and paint, because I think that's got to be brass or copper, and then these are aluminium or a pale green colour, I believe. Uh, yep, seat, rear of the seat, part of the control column. You've got the ammunition chutes and fuel tanks to go be put together. Exhausts, yeah, very, very nicely molded. Show you the other side. I hope this is coming out well. I promise I'll get better at these. This one's got the engine and the two styles of propeller on it. Uh, something else to learn to do is how to paint wooden propellers. I've seen a good guide where a guy used his watercolour pencils on YouTube and it looked quite effective. In fact, actually, there's four types of propeller I've just realised. So, But I believe it only mentioned two. I only just noticed that. So, yep, all the cylinders. You've got places, presumably there's little marks there for where the spark plug leads could go. So you could go to town on this with a bit of detailing, but I think I'm just going to do basic out of the box build. Um, in my eyesight, it's not really up to this sort of thing these days. And lastly, you've got the decals, which I believe, yep, are printed by Cartograph. And uh, I'm obviously not going to take those out. And on the back of that, you've got the little etched photo etched sheet. So anyway. It looks an excellent kit. Are they worth the money? I think I paid about £60 for this one. And that's one of the cheaper ones in the range. For four sprues, okay, they're quite large sprues. Is it really worth the money? Well, it's a very, what's the word, high fidelity kit, I would say. Good details, things like that. Excuse me while I'm putting them away. Is it worth the money? I don't know. I really don't know. It's a lot of money for the what you get but the detail is fantastic so I guess only time will tell anyway guys thanks very much for watching my short video um, don't expect a lot from them I may try and video some of the build or I may just put some stills up somewhere when I can remember the days when I used to have quite an extensive website but uh, modeling website but not anymore anyway guys hope you enjoyed this short review um, catch you some other time bye